goddamn American dream, chat. The, the American dream. Hunting down hogs and specifically, I think, like the Transylvanian Alps. This one doesn't take place entirely in America, and thus it's more of like a... What the fuck? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of more vampire. We're gonna struggle. We're gonna, we're gonna struggle in this one. This isn't gonna be Call of the Wild. And I know that for a fact because this game, I believe carried over my world state and the game has like AI that like realize, hey, people keep dying here. Let's not eat food here anymore. And I did in the tutorial run down an entire herd of deer by accident because they cut me off by accident. Hello? Da David! David! Hey, how's it going? Hi. Ah, uh, pretty good. I remember that I didn't tell you when I was actually planning on starting the stream today, so I was kind of like no. in this state of like, I don't even know if he knows. It's fine. I mean, I from when we tested, I was like, well, I'm around now, so we're yeah. all good. All right, just get, get it over with, dude. What are you going to do? What's your game plan today to get the VOD to like this part of the VOD deleted entirely? Look, Cause dude, I was actually coming in here being like, yeah, I'm just going to try and be, you know, like honest. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Clean. Going to try to be honest. Humor. Look, I don't Uncensored. come in here. I don't just come in get here it with out a, there. A breakdown of a plan to ruin something. OK, I don't come in like that. Uh, that's not that's not right okay i was actually i was actually talking to manda last night because i was playing some yeah. stuff with her and, oh, and she's worried i'm getting radicalized no i it? i brought oh. up the fact that it's like you become a different person <laughs> in the intro <laughs> i brought up the fact that it's you're never like this uh and then all of a sudden when the intro <laughs> turns on you're t you're like talking about hillary clinton a lot <laughs> 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 I'm never sure, never sure why. You know, I uh, I was, it was my dad's birthday today, and oh, yeah? I immediate I immediately did it. Like as soon as there were like people in the room, and I, <laughs> I went to my sister and I was like, <laughs> "Well, if I say this now, the vault's gonna get destroyed. I can't. This is no, I can't. I can't. I, I, you, <laughs> I look just like it's it's okay." Brett's got to work for that fucking paycheck when it comes to your streams. He knows. He knows. He knows when he <laughs> that this is where he he makes the money. No, it was it was just like, dude, I want to work really hard and you know, like become an accountant. You know, like have really good clients and make lots of friends. I want to buy a private island. I want to fund a private <laughs> island. I want to put people on a private <laughs> island. I want to like make friends with you know other like minded individuals like millionaires <laughs> and presidents. No, no. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to like you know be a little bit shady sometimes, and I might want to go to prison. I might want to get into some a little, a little bit of trouble. I might want to have all the cameras in the prison turn off and all the guards in the prison turn off. And then I might want to you know when everything's off, I feel so alone that I. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Brett, if we could have the, uh, VOD up to 13 minutes and 50 seconds cut, that'd be good. Hey, Dave, welcome. Hey, Come hey, on in, come on in. Take oh, a seat by the fire. To be here. Just, I oh. just put, I just threw new firewood in it. <laughs> I, I decided when I'm old, I want to be weak. You want to be weak? You want to be weak and pathetic? Let, let me explain. I st I've been going to the gym in the mornings before work now. Okay. And there are old men who they they they're all bald. Let's get that. You, this helps with the visual. Right, right, right. And right. with the number of wrinkles on their bald heads, mm -hmm. purely from muscle, uh, and like it's just like a fully like wrinkled. It, it's like what seeing a human wrinkle lift <laughs> weights in the gym and like flex itself. It, 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 but are you sure when, that's when not when just old... their wrinkly head? I'm not sure that's muscle. No. No, it's like it's hard like, to get muscle on your head. No, tomatoes, some of these like, guys. I, can, like, like you're telling me themselves. that I can flex my scalp? Like I, I mean, like yeah, I can push I my eyebrows how. up. I, I, don't I don't think that's how. right, but I think you're going crazy. No, I think it's the veins. Like some of these guys, like li like they load up the bar and they're like they they go like, and that's the sound of them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, 
and they choose to flex every muscle. And so I guess the like the blood. Just so pumps, you like, seeing through. their veiny head was enough for you to decide that when you're their age, you'll be weak and pathetic. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be doing that. I mean, that you age. could I still wanna, like. I, I mean, there's a bunch tea. of weight levels that you can do that don't cause you to go. <laughs> 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 No, but then the guy goes, you know, I only like, you can tell when someone's working because they're sweating. If you're not sweating, you're not doing it right. And then he looked around the gym for someone not. And he's like, look at that guy. Who, and I was just what like, kind of gym did you fucking go to? <laughs> Dude, if I walk into a gym and there's an old guy pointing at people and saying they're not working out hard enough, I am 180 and running right. away. Firstly, there's six of them. All right, they have they have the majority. They have like an old. It's like a posse. It's like a senior yes. old yes. like gym. Well, no, it's not for seniors. They're just there. They're just. I think they're like ex army. So they they're like you know some one of them's always wearing camo like grandpa shorts. gang. <laughs> And one of them is really big, but he's the wrinkler. And then the, <laughs> he's the wrinkler. And they feel like they can talk to anybody in the gym. So when I'm walking by, they're like, ah, good set. And I'm like, huh? Good form. And they like, dude, there's a girl lifting weights next to me. And they're like, you know, you had great form. You're not lifting a lot of weight, but what you did was good to work on your form. And he looked at me and he said, just keep going on, partner. And then in, oh, but the changing room situation. Oh, oh my God, dude. Dave, what is going, the, what's going on with the wrinkler right now? What's, what is this? <laughs> I've seen a lot of the wrinkler <laughs> <laughs> I've seen more of the wrinkler. So you're saying the wrinkler kind of ruined being old for you. It, it made me realize there's so many different types of old archetypes that the, you know, the powerful, strong... You never gym. saw the old archetype where they are more powerful than you, is what you're saying. Than me now. And I'm like, I, I don't want to ever see this guy, like, not See, but don't you think it's power? Don't you think it probably feels good to be him, though? Wouldn't you want to be like the wrinkler when you're older? Dude, because you get to basically <laughs> scare people into wanting to be weak when they're older. <laughs> and my grandkids have such an influence on someone that they choose to live an unhealthier lifestyle <laughs> in order to avoid your fate. I just start doing heroin and, like, not eating. <laughs> just making it like it's not worth it you know it's not worth the struggle the ring he's the wrinklers and the you know the wrinkle squad they're great they all have like crow's feet you know like i'm sure they have you know arthritis out the wazoo but they're still kicking and lifting and everything but here's the problem tomato yep. okay uh -huh. I don't want to be bald. I don't want to be bald. I don't think anyone wants to be bald, but at a certain point, you have to accept that majority of people do end up bald, at least uh, males. Uh, I, a a I good have... amount of them end up with some kind of baldness. Uh, do you think that working out make you more bald? It's something to do with testosterone. Dude, imagine... I, I, I'm, dude, bud, I don't want to shoot you down here, but imagine <laughs> explaining to anyone in your life, in real life, that the reason you don't pump is because you're afraid you'll become bald. I don't take I'm, protein I'm worried that if I work out too much, my hair will fall out. I'll fucking, uh, I'm worried about I, being I've too I've seen strong. one punch man, my guy, and that <laughs> won't be me. I'm, I'm not going to do 100 push-ups. I don't want to be bald. You get to choose where your strength lies, in your body or in your hairline. And I choose hairline <laughs> every single time. So I, I actually am supposed to have a guy, right? Uh -huh. So I have a, a co-worker who goes to the same office as me, who goes to the same gym. Now, the story of how I found this out was, well, it was how a little How you found it out? Are you fucking sure this is your guy? Or is this no. someone you just found, no, you no, just no, no, assumed no, 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 no. was your guy? No, 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 trust me. He's, trust me. Okay, I'm, tr I'm trusting, my, I'm trusting. So, the way I found out he went to the same gym as me was I was drying my hair with a hair dryer and okay. looking in the mirror when a... I don't know how else to put this, but a rogue penis mm, made its mm -hmm, way mm. onto the mirror. Yep. And then I, I was like flabbergasted and shocked. And I turned around, who's this guy drying his hair with his towel? And then I turn around with a, a scowl and a grimace on my face and the towel comes down and it's my coworker who goes to the same office. Ah, uh, yes. And knows my real name. That's, uh, yeah. it's... It's a rough situation to accidentally and reveal your 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 schlong 
to a coworker Look, at the gym. My only saving grace is that now I am living with the cursed knowledge. That, so when that, you that, saw the rogue that, penis and realized yeah. this was your coworker, you quietly on your own decided this was your gym guy. No, no, no. I was like, oh, no, no. It's because in the office, he was like, I saw you at the gym. Uh, like I saw you at the gym and I know you saw me at the he, gym. He goes, <laughs> this thing is, <laughs> look, he, I don't I know made, if he I knows made sure I saw. you saw me at the I don't gym. know if he knows what I saw. I don't know if he knows that I know, but like, I think he knows. He's but... gotta know, bud. <laughs> no, but he, he didn't. But like, the one me. day, dude, if I was drying my my luscious locks of hair in the, like the changing room, and then I pulled my towel down, thinking that the only people that could see my schlong were people I would never see for the rest of my life, aside from in the gym, and I saw my coworker, I would live with that knowledge for the rest of my life, and constantly think, oh my god, I have to, I have to salvage this. I have to make this guy my gym guy, or else it's just my coworker that <laughs> saw my dick. Now, let me get some, let, look. I've been he in knows. the army. I've seen my fair share of cock that I didn't want to see. All right, let's. the The line is there. That's the line. I've lived this life far too much. But I think that if I was like, if you were my coworker okay. and I pulled my towel off my head, my schlong is revealed, and you see my schlong, I would never go back to work at that job again. I think. Well, I think my nah. social anxiety would equal. I have to. I have to send in my two weeks notice, but also for those two weeks now, go back. <laughs> I can't you know, be shown. I can't be seen again. The, the problem is, like, I, I've seen his, and now the right thing to do is let him see mine. But it's just, I don't want to make him feel bad. Do You, you, you know? don't want to make <laughs> him feel, does that mean that you think that, like, he's going to feel, like, embarrassed? If, like, if what, I, is he going to uh, compare his dick to yours and be like, damn, oof, well, this does you know, make me feel bad. He's supposed like, to be my superior, but I just think he wouldn't feel comfortably, or it would be just uncomfortable to Like, some people are around. growers, dude. I don't think it's fair to, like, do this. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's fair to, to do this. This, like, this, this weird harassment thing where you're like, bro, <laughs> I didn't want you. Sit down, bro. I know that we're gym, br gym bros that we work at the same place. I, I want to show you my dick, but I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> that is simply so or even. It's I don't want you to feel bad comparing, you know, our situations. Dude, it's just hard for me to take orders from this guy at work <laughs> now. Right? It's, it's, bro, it's just so hard for me to take orders from you when I know how small your dick is compared to my dick. I keep snapping back at him. I keep saying, you're really going to say that to me? <laughs> 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 you just you just can't you just can't let your dick ever be shown in any kind of space where other people might ever I, see it I because have it decides your entire social hierarchy <laughs> but then the thing is i i take extreme care that nobody in the gym ever sees me completely you know stark naked or like even partially i w like you could just have a towel or like you know use your boxes or swimming trunks but but there's some people who don't care. And I wasn't expecting someone who's, you know, kind of not even middle-aged yet to not care about that. I, it's, he's European, so that's probably why. It's, I, some people do. They just don't, they don't worry about that kind of stuff. I mean, I think he's more powerful than you, to be honest. Even if you're afraid not, you're going to embarrass him. Not with him. what I've seen, no. I, I mean, I, I... he's got the confidence to show it. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're you're hiding what you got every step of the way. You know who said that? Louis C.K. Tomato <laughs> and look where it got him. <laughs> Please! <laughs> No! <laughs> no. <laughs> My intro. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alas, I think you should show him your dick. <laughs> If you want my if you want my professional take, uh, yeah, yeah, I think you should show him your cock. But by accident, right? <laughs> of course, by accident. <laughs> have like your like have like your belt like fall off in the middle of you know work where it's just two of you <laughs> in the office. <laughs> <laughs> It's not in the gym anymore. I'm like outside crossing the road and I see him. I'm like, oh, no, quick. And now. <laughs> the, the thing, yeah, like the thing is, if you say like, oh, yeah, the, I saw a guy's penis at the gym, like in the showers. No one's going to bat an eye because it's like a social norm. At this yeah, point. yeah. But saying like, oh, man, I, I saw my the workplace, you know, my coworker. 
he was just you know in the bathrooms and he tripped and fell and it was horrendous that's like whoa that's a lawsuit you guys mm. need like i don't know the gym is it's my only safe place legally uh that is no that is a on. cursed fucking sentence <laughs> <laughs> Now, <laughs> the gym is the only place I feel safe legally. Now, now you know what? <laughs> Let's get the context. Let's get the context. <laughs> oh boy, dude! I you want to go? I, I regret naming the title "Wrangling Hogs" with David. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I didn't. I really did not see this coming today. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at that nice fucking GoPro asshole. Ah, <laughs> uh, right tomato. Now. What's up? We we got company. What do you mean? It's, I see someone here in the lobby. Can he has a Can Twitch handle? Him? I don't want to just... bully him and go in there and be like, leave. But I also don't want to advertise his channel. Christine. There's also no, there is no text chat, so I can't be like, leave Bozo and be mean. Hey, I got an idea, I got an idea. Oh, I can hit him with my car. Yeah, lure him down. Lure him down and kill him with the car. Yeah, 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 it's as simple as that. Hey, hey, Dumpy, here he comes, he's coming. Tomato, he's lulled into a false sense of security. Okay, 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 give me a second. Does he know? He doesn't know. Okay. Get him! Let's get the fuck out of here, get in the car! Drive, drive! Get in the car! <laughs> go, go! Huh? Skirt! <laughs> <laughs> Did he just- Oh! Oh, we're stuck, it's bad! Oh, we're okay, we'll, we'll make it. Alright, Dave, uh... So I don't know how to kick someone from a lobby, so instead we're just gonna drive in a direction and we'll pick this up when we get there. Yeah. All right. Huh. Whoa, whoa. Out of the car, out of the car! Oh, that one's mine. That was mine. I, I got it! it. No. <laughs> I got one too. <laughs> I don't think these are legal kills. <laughs> you think it's gone? No, it's in there, right? It didn't come out, and it didn't go up. I see Wait. it! I see it, it's crossing the river. I shot it in the- I shot it! Sweet! <laughs> okay, we- it's, this is oh overkill. Just put it down! Put it down! <laughs> Just kill. Don't let it go! Don't let it go! It's- it's dead. We no, no, gotta no, go out of those- Fuck! <laughs> oh, you got the kill. Where? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it was a community effort at this point. <laughs> this poor fucking thing. It's only showing. Okay, so it's including three separate shots on mine. I don't know how okay. many you have. Uh, the second shot, I hit it in what looks to be both of its legs. Both? Like its ankles. Oh. Uh, oh, it goes up to four shots. Okay. Uh, next one was... Uh, it's Tommy. And then... Oh, five shots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's counting every, all of our shots. Every shot, yeah. <laughs> so we hit this thing five times. Where is this one going? <laughs> Slot them all up. Kill every one of them. Oh, I got a big, that's the one, that's the guy. Okay. Go, go, go! There's gotta be blood. It's gotta be There's blood. There's gotta be There's blood. There's gotta be blood. Wait, stop moving for a sec? Okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's gotta be blood. Dude, we gotta get to your car. Otherwise, Dad is gonna kill us. He's gonna be so fucking pissed. Oh, by the way, you are required to swerve to hit any animal you see. Okay. They're all overpopulated in this valley. It's an infestation. Oh, no. Oh. Dave! Dave! Dave, please! I was joking! But, but it's money. 
All right, let's go get those hunts. <laughs> no! Bambi! <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, maybe we should leave uh. some of the, oh my God, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Save it. <laughs> Dave! <laughs> if you keep doing it, eventually we get to the other side. Well, at least now the deer know that we are incredibly weak, actually, in reality. Yeah, we paid for our crimes. <laughs> yeah, I am not seeing my car over there. Someone may have stolen it. How emotive. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> I get a better view from here. <laughs> oh, what? Dude, you think I could make it? Make it to what? Oh, I could definitely make it. <laughs> All right, go for it, dude. <laughs> dude! Dude! I, I made it. <laughs> oh, dude, the deer have been having a campfire out here. What do you mean they've been having a campfire? Oh my Look, god. It's fresh. They've been eating s'mores. Those freaks. Those fucking animals. They don't know that's people food. Why Some children do... live and die and never have a s'more once in their entire life. That's, I don't want to be one of those children. I need to fix that like tomorrow, but I don't actually get it. So it's a gra gr firstly it's called- Wait, Graham you've never Cracker. had s'mores? No, never. They're not a thing in England. Dude, it's, it's actually, I, I fucking cringe when I realized you actually talked about like, like, did, did I just make up in my head that you talked about s'mores and that they were making s'mores right now? Did you say they were making like they were roasted marshmallows? Because if you reference nice. s'mores, I've never I had any. s'mores. Right, that pissed me the fuck off them. then. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional like fake American. You're I like a no professional idea. like spineless liar. <laughs> I never said I was making s'mores. I said the deer were. I mean, it's just like, I mean, like you can't be like, you can't reference something and be like, and I also don't know what I just referenced right look, after. That's like look, kinda... I'll be honest. I, I, you're coming across as somebody who likes s'mores, but if I said s'mores are overrated, a bunch of people would stand up and start clapping. Uh, here's the thing: that. s'mores are not overrated, and I, and I don't trust people that say they're bad. Tomato. Yep. Would you go camping with me? I fucking hate camping. You hate camping, but I you camping. like s'mores. Yeah, but that's because I live in bonfire country. But then, dude. If you eat s'mores without going camping, that's stolen valor. I'll no, it's it. fucking not. I live in bonfire country, dude. It, it's it's not. A, that's not a treat for you. That's a treat for people who went camping. To, you, you know, how, re how fucking dare you? <laughs> <laughs> There's certain things you get as part of camping that you shouldn't be, you know? It's like sleeping in a tent in your room. It doesn't make any sense. Dude, you're fucking weird, man. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm gonna start following this path. You can't just say that, like, I, I have fucking stolen s'more valor. <laughs> it is stolen s'more valor. You just put a bonfire up, like, at home, and you're like, yeah, like, we're gonna do s'mores. But if it was a campfire, then, you know, then it's the atmosphere is right, roasting marshmallows, like, you know? Then, then the s'mores come naturally. You have never, I need to reiterate right now. Okay, you can't You've bring that. You've never had I've s'mores. Never, no. So you no. keep saying these things that you fundamentally don't know. Your Honor, I would like to bring up Article 62. Uh, Dave has done literally everything else but roasted s'mores. I've roasted marshmallows, I've roasted chocolates, and I've even roasted crackers. So really, I think I have had s'mores in a in a strange Objection. way. Objection! Not... Just fucking wrong. Just wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, wrong, Your Honor. Dude. He's dumb. Like he oh. <laughs> he just literally admitted that he lacks context to the one thing that. And also, he said roasted chocolates, which is, <laughs> Your Honor, just weird. Your Honor, uh, let me elaborate on roasted chocolate. I put it in the microwave to try and melt it, and it didn't melt. Your Honor, he just admitted that he didn't even roast it at a fire. He roasted it on a microwave. Your Honor, I'd like to bring up uh, evidence number uh, number one, one of the first evidences we ever obtained <laughs> for this sicko, uh, where he did admit to many microwave-based crimes. <laughs> oh my, Your Honor, uh, clarity, clarity on that one. Uh, and also, wrong. Well, this is a different case we're going through on this one, Your Honor. 
<laughs> Your Honor, I would like to remind you that he has never tried for his food crimes on any of those things. There is no double jeopardy Whoa, here. Oh, Your Honor, mistrial. Tried. Mistrial, Your Honor. A, this is a mistrial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not on trial here. <laughs> but the, the problem isn't that you can't kill aliens. The fact is that if you did kill the first one, I think you'd be in a lot more trouble. When the rest of them show up, and I mean, like, like yeah, it guy? would be a bummer. But like, if someone killed the first alien, I'd be like, well, it's kind of the alien's fault for not being more careful. I don't know why. <laughs> if they're so high tech, dude, it's like these aliens are going back down to like the stone. It's like us going back with these weapons to like truly Neanderthal era, and then if we get oh. hit by a rock on the head, <laughs> yeah, like it's basically rock. the tech difference. So, so <laughs> if, if the alien does go down, it's kind of like if 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 we sent back a person at our tech level to the Neanderthals and Neanderthals yeah. got him with a rock, I wouldn't be like. Let's fucking uh, get them then. Come on, guys. Let's get thirty people. I'd be so embarrassed. No, no, I'd never send. I'd the, never go the back Neanderthals again. The Neanderthals are still us. This is on the premise that the aliens like the way more advanced, and they like know everything about us, and they know coming down here that oh, like we got nothing to worry about. That alien that died died because he was reckless and careless. That's that's the premise. But if it's like, yo, dude, a new planet. Oh, dude, they have animals. We're going to hunt them. And then they get, like, sniped. They're like, guys, I think we need to destroy these these creatures on this planet. They have guns. I don't know. Like, I don't even know what this is. I don't know what a gun is. But it, they shot Tim. He's dead. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> Send an email before you show up. You know I what I mean? Kill, like uh, the, the bottom line, I would not kill an alien. I wouldn't kill one. Nah, dude, pretty much any scenario, I kill an alien. Okay, Even, like, no, an no. E.T. That, scenario. That's a... What? Yeah, like dude, a, that fucking weird, like grody, leathery, football-looking thing shows up at my house. Bop. <laughs> Why? What? Why would you kill him? E.T.'s the worst one. Okay, what if E.T. says friend uh I, he's trying his best he like speaks in spanish if a little a bit fucking creature and that's what i will <laughs> describe it as if, if a fucking creature is in my shed stumbles out of the darkness looks like et looks and says friend it gets the fur out of its mouth before i fucking hit it with a hammer <laughs> what if he says como estas me llamo E.T. He's trying really hard. He did no. He goes to como esta. Then you think, oh, he's just Spanish. So then you go, now hold on a minute. <laughs> Would you try and translate? Because you, you if know, I thought you... it, I, I'd have to like, <laughs> dude, if I thought it was a random Spanish person in my shed that looks like that instead, I might hesitate. Honestly, I might hesitate if an alien spoke in very obviously a foreign language like Spanish yeah. or something. What, ex like he's definitely just like confused. And he thinks everybody speaks Spanish. Like that, that would at least buy him some time. <laughs> Before you realize, wait, he's still an alien. <laughs> but like, that's the thing, though. I'm not. I'm not hanging out with ET. I won't fucking do it. At all. Zero At all. chance. Zero chance. If an alien shows up in my yard, I. Li I truly. If ET could be thrown, bud, and he was very obviously like weaponless. He can be thrown. He, he if can he can be, be thrown, thrown, I'm close enough. My neighbor's yard is like fenced, and so is mine. To the point okay. where I would dunk E.T. into their yard and call it a night. All right. New new one. New yeah. alien. Okay. The, the, you know the one from Men in Black? Who yep. goes, Orion's Belt. Orion's Belt. Yeah. Yeah. You find your dog barking at like a hole in the wall. And you can see the little alien like poking his head out. And he goes, help me, help me. But I've been here, dude. I don't tolerate <laughs> little creatures in my house. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Like pretty much, but I honestly, I've reached a point now where if it was even like famously Kitchen Goblin, if I got my hands on Kitchen Goblin, I'd break his neck with my thumb. Okay, wait, like, wait, wait. I would wait, immediately wait. and just fucking finish that <laughs> right there. I'm not what? playing around. What, when? What is the scenario where you don't instantly kill them? Like, okay, fine, fine, fine. He's he's fallen and he's tripped and he he got stuck. There's a glass on top of him with a with a phone book on top. You find you find him like he it's not randomly your... is found in a phone book with glass like a no. glass phone book scenario. Yeah, no, it's not your house. You like go over to a friend's house 
and you find the alien with a glass and a phone book on top of him. And he goes, hey, hey, man. Oh, sorry. You're not. Oh, sorry. It's you. Uh, have you seen Tom? If and it was really my friend's cool. alien, it's not my problem. I don't care. It's okay. But if it's in my house, I fucking find that thing in my house. Even if my friend, if like you found an alien in my house and captured it in a jar and then put a phone book on it. When I walk in there, I'm going to casually take him to the <laughs> toilet. And flush him down. <laughs> like I do not want this. This in my zone. Okay, you're. J I get it. You're just offended because the alien like home invaded you, essentially. Yeah. Right? Honestly, All yeah. Right. What about if it's in a public place or like an Airbnb? If it's in an Airbnb, I call the police. <laughs> Why? No, if, okay, I, not... if I purchase an Airbnb, God, God forbid, I go to my Airbnb, I open the closet, E.T. stumbles out covered in clothes. God fucking forbid that happens. Okay, if they do, I call the cops and I punch E.T. in the nose. Wait, what? No, someone forgot him there. Like, why? why no why one forgets an alien at their Airbnb. But dude. I, I truly, I do. This is a warning to aliens. Do not make me your first stop, dude. I do think not you're just make intolerant. me first stop. I think you're being intolerant. I, to it's aliens. not intolerant, dude. <laughs> there is no listen, dude. That is a monster. <laughs> in front of me right now. I don't have to be tolerant to like a fucking alien creature. I don't have to be. <laughs> I, think you, I think you should be. You have no reason to not be tolerant. To, you have more reason to be tolerant to them because they're aliens. If it, dude, leave, leave me an email. <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I ask. Don't jump scare me. I feel like we're not getting blood. For some reason. It's been a hard time, man. Hunting is hard work. Hunting is... It's not easy being me with my heavy-duty rifle. Able to easily dispatch most animals that I aim at and pull, you know, the trigger on. If we didn't do this, imagine the amount of children these bears would devour. Oh, yeah. Birthday parties they'd ruin. Like, we couldn't let that happen. Haven't made it... Haven't seen any spooked bear noises since, dude. Because they don't exist. I have found a second like bear marker now which i've got a bunch of elk i scared but those aren't bears i'm just gonna go with my backup plan which is plant a bunch of poison inside of all the bear feeding spots and let nature take its course yeah mine is to release uh, nerve gas into the nearby areas anyway so. i'm going to i'm going to plant some claymores around look i hate to say it but um the americans got it right when they just started using napalm like it it gets everything. It's I'm going really, to start really a good. small fire on the ground and just allow it to engulf this place. <laughs> I'm going to just have a gender reveal party. <laughs> I'm going to do a gender reveal party uh, with a completely <laughs> unprotected bonfire, like also running nearby. I'm going to activate some fireworks beneath some brush. I'm just going to sort of generally um, leave trash in most places I go and smoke many cigarettes. And uh... I'm just going to get a bunch of barrels of oil and like spill them everywhere. <laughs> like just kind of spill them all over the place. I'm just going to like do a couple of experiments. I'm going to get some steel beams and some jet fuel. And I'm just going to practice and try and really figure this out for people once and for all. Um, what, was, what was that? Uh, I'm I'm gonna light matches on wood. I think I'm done playing this game now. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm done for tonight. I'm hungry. I'm a little tired. We never found one hog. I don't even know if hogs exist. Dude, we gotta go real far to find hogs. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye. Goodbye.